Hi, I'm Megha Daga. I'm the Senior Technical Marketing Manager at Cadence for our Vision products. Today we are here to talk about uh, Vision C5, our latest announcement and how it's able to solve the current trends and challenges we are facing in the world of CNN. So I will start with the, the trends. Trends, we have been seeing that as these uh, data has been evolving as the networks have been evolving, we are seeing a lot of changes in the network. They started with linear, we moved to um, branching. We have now something called gated. So uh, these are evolving, these are changing. So we need a system which can work with these. And that's where C5 comes into picture. It's the first standalone DSP, and DSP is the major thing here. Being programmable, it's able to adapt, and so it makes it future-proof, and it's flexible for everyone to use it now so that uh, in next couple of years when the product will actually be in production, it will be able to do whatever is there in the trends at that point of time. So being future proof is very important. Then the second point is neural networks are going everywhere. We see it these days in surveillance and automotives where the requirements are really high. They are in multi teramac requirements. So we need something from a DSP which is a scalable solution. Vision C5, it's a very simple architecture design sitting on an AXI, has its own local memory. It's a very easy DSP to make it a scalable, just a bunch of them sitting on the AXI. It makes the life of a programmer very easy because there is not a lot of scheduling he needs to take care of. It makes the life of a hardware designer very easy because it's a very simple design to put on the bus. So those are the two things about Vision C5 which helps in the latest trends. Let's go to the next section, which is one of the common challenges we face in CNN, which is the challenge of compute. As we know, the compute requirements are increasing uh, every year, and we have seen they have increased by 16x in less than four years. So to solve those issues, Vision C5 has come up with one of the maximum Macs in the market right now, which is 10248 by 8 Mac. It also supports 512 16 by 16 Mac for those who are not too comfortable with 8 by 8. Personally, I believe 8 by 8 is good enough. Uh, we have seen that it's less than 1% degradation compared to floating point uh, with a lot more capability. We have also made sure that we are not just increasing the Mac to get the compute, but we have other support system to get the best out of these Mac, to get our Mac utilization high. So we have a very wide SIMD to take care of that. We also have increased our accumulators to support those mini Macs and the wider SIMD. We have also added several ISA support to uh, enhance convolution and non-convolution layers because this is a DSP, it's a standalone DSP. Everything runs on the DSP. We are not running one layer at one place and another layer at another place. We are doing everything together and so we are making sure that we have proper ISA to take care of all the layers. We have made sure in convolution where we can have effect from different spatial dimensions, kernel dimensions, kernel sizes and stuff like that. We have special ISA to take care of that for smaller uh, sizes, bigger sizes and everything, taking in mind what our SIMD way is. So we have added a lot of support on the ISA. And on top of that, uh, we have also added very flexible and efficient way to switch between different vectorization schemes. So efficient switching between vectorization scheme. This is helpful because different layers can go uh, in different vectorization schemes uh, to get the max performance out of it. And we need something so that we can switch very easily. And that is something we support over here. So combining overall, we are able to get the max compute out of Vision C5, which helps us in today's world. Then the third and one of the more uh, one of the important factors is bandwidth. This is a very common challenge we are facing in CNN. The data, they are very data heavy, so what to do for that? As we have already seen, we support 8-bit, so that's automatically 
4x improvement compared to floating point. We also do batching as I have talked about in my previous sessions. This helps us in uh, mostly like layers are fully connected, helps a lot. Then we have added special ISA support for compression and decompression for data and for coefficients. So if we have enough sparsity in our uh, data and coefficient, we are able to utilize these on the fly decompression support to get the max out of uh, our bandwidth. And then we also have, uh, we should not forget that we are a standalone DSP. So being a standalone DSP, we do everything on the DSP. There is no data movement between a DSP and another engine. So let's say, for example, we had a DSP and a hardware engine. Then, and let's say this hardware was only doing convolution. Then what you, one would have to do is this DSP will be the controller for this hardware. It will send data for convolution. Once the convolution is done, it will send it back to do the next stage, let's say pooling. Then it will again go and say, OK, do convolution. There is a lot of data back and forth, which will add some kind of overhead compared to a single DSP unit, which will just go layer by layer by layer. So, with all these, we are able to tackle the bandwidth issues we are facing in the CNN. And so overall, we have th uh, th carefully thought through uh, what to put in our Vision C5 and how to solve these challenges and make it future-proof and solve the current challenges we are facing. So that's it for today. Thank you, and stay tuned. <music>